Welcome to BIMS TV. I'm Dr. Stanton Belford, and this is BIMS Bites. And today I will be biting into coral reef surveys. There are many, many ways in which we do coral reef surveys. My curiosity was to find out what type of abundance in reef benthic species were there. So for this question, I had to figure out what was the best way to collect this data. There are a few ways in which we can do this. So I used the line transect method, quadrat method, mapping method, and the tagging method all from the particular question in which I wanted to answer. Here, collecting data on the reefs on benthic components. So for this analysis, I use the Lang transect as well as a 50 centimeter by 50 centimeter quadrant. The key and the goal is to calculate the frequency of each particular type of benthic component, such as hard corals, soft corals, coral rubble, rocks, specific types of invertebrates, such as sea cucumbers, sea urchins, and other cnidarians typically found on reefs. I take students, I try to get them curious about reef components. Here, my students are counting in a one meter by one meter squared quadrat made out of PVC, how many sea urchins they can find. What we did here is we weighed sea urchins and measured their oral discs where we can look at abundance and sizes. And we did this at two sites along the northeastern coast of Trinidad. They were very, very excited about this. They could not believe how easy it was to take these measurements on the reefs during, of course, low tides in this case. I have done mapping before, doing research in the Red Sea while scuba diving. I wanted to know how many two-ban clownfish were in sea anemones. So I tagged the sea anemones as well as mapped where their positions were. This allowed me to come back a year later and look at the particular number on the sea anemone in relation with the map and do my calculations. How many clownfish were in this particular sea anemone and how large of expansion was the sea anemone? My specific coral reef surveys occur at Toku Bay and Salibia Bay, northeastern coast of Trinidad. I am fortunate to get dry tides in certain parts of the year. This allows me to really catch what are the benthic components, the abundance, and how are they distributed throughout the reefs. You can also collect other data while doing surveys specifically for other research, such as genetic analysis. But what 
was so curious about these reefs is that at certain zones, you can find different cnidarians. So what I did was run line transect. And at every 50 centimeters, I would record the benthic component. I was curious to know how many, how abundant, and what types of benthic components were on this reef flat. Here, during that dry tide, I am recording benthic component under each 50 centimeter point on a 50 meter reel. After I placed the data in my X axis, looked at the benthic components and percentage coverage. And so I can pretty much tell how abundant and how easy it is to find certain species, such as in this case, zoanthereans covering most of the reef flat at Celebia Bay. And so why is this important? Well, now we can publish data on species richness, on available species that we find here at these sites. Why is it important to publish? Because we share the data with all. We also record these species here in this region. If you want to know more about reef surveys, please feel the contact. Feel free to contact me. Here are my contact information. And remember, stay curious.